Hello everyone, happy Monday. What well, are oh, my boots open? Look, I need to fix that. Okay, oh, take two. Welcome, <laughs> it's a uh, Monday afternoon and we're about to head to Woolworths to check for some markdowns because I don't actually go to Woolworths on a Monday looking for markdowns, it's usually Tuesday. So I thought let's do something different. Also, <laughs> I have another Woolworths offer that's come in and it's spend $50 in one or more shops over two weeks for two weeks and get 3,500 points. Now, while those points aren't amazing compared with the flybys deal, 10,000 points, it is in one or more shops. And the convenience of that totally makes it worth it because every like little markdown shop that I do, because you guys know I shop a lot, <laughs> uh, it'll all add up. So that'll be good. And then by the end of the week, um, anything that then I need, I can lean into the Woolworths app because the Coles, we've only got one left week left of the four week spend and then that will be finished for that one. But I'm noticing that the four week and even the Woolworths offers are just back to back to back to back. There used to be like two or three weeks in between and you get a break and now they're just coming back to back to back to back. And I get what they're doing, so I'm going to use it to my advantage and really try and curb my spending and put it into where I'm going to get the rewards. So, yeah, I'm going to go to the shops and do that. So, let's go. Also, <laughs> the whole reason why I was going to start this vlog. So, Mondays, I'm normally home, just chilling, but also that's my morning to film a video or edit or get youtube set up for the week whatever it is i had that big power pack monday that you would have seen a couple of weeks ago and of course uh i'm running on empty today because um time of the month and i spent all day sunday literally just sitting there like this at my computer and I got up this morning and I was still in PJs and dressing gown. So it is true that when you get up, you should get get up and get dressed shoes because it does help you <clears throat> feel a little bit motivated to like get up and go. But I also had so much admin things today. <clears throat> I had so many emails and just weird little things. Like there was a couple of rebate stuff to be done. There was a couple of bank account things to check. To check the payments have gone in for some things. And payments have gone out. And cross checking a whole lot of stuff. I need to rejig some of the direct debits that we've got. With various things. Because it's just all over the joint. Um, and I normally check in with it all the time. But the cost of living things are changing pretty quickly for some things. And I just want to sort of check that we're like where we should be with things um, i don't talk a lot about money with our situation and stuff like that i just i can't explain it well enough so i just don't bother and also my hubby doesn't really want me to talk about it which is totally fine because yeah i'm bad enough trying to explain the groceries to you guys let alone our finances and stuff like that and i also feel like finances are personal and I don't want anyone telling me what I should and shouldn't be doing with my money, which is pretty much nothing except buy food and pay the bills. Don't really do anything else. Uh, but still, that's my prerogative. Um, <laughs> someone messaged me and asked me, what do I think is the best price for Vegemite the other day? And I went, well, here I am an expert. <laughs> They're the kind of questions that I get so fired up. I go, right, I've been tracking that for a while because we're a Vegemite family and here is the lowdown. <laughs> yeah, so um, this morning doing all that and I just sort of started then getting into that cycle of, oh, just quickly check the email again. Oh, just quickly do this. Oh, just quickly do that. And I quickly realized that I was going to waste half the day. So I got up to get dressed because I also wanted to sort of shake myself up out of a funk. Hopefully we're teaching Zumba tonight. I'm just waiting on everyone to get back to me. Mondays lately, everyone seems to be, it's my private class sick or injured um we haven't had zumba for the past two weeks the amount of people that have gone i'm so sorry i'm just not gonna make it i'm like yeah it's totally fine and look i always say that look i would just dance with two people it's fine but also the rent increases and the fees and everything else we pay 
uh, like a, yes, a any money coming in is worth it, but also to pay the rent. If I'm not there, I can cancel the class and I don't have to pay the rent for the, the day. Um, so, you know, I, I need to make sure it's worth it, if that makes sense. My fees and stuff are covered with other classes that I do during the week. But yeah, it's really, I've got to make sure the rent is covered first to sort of go ahead with anything else. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a long story, but anyway, it's, it, it is what it is. And last week, um, I nearly, I didn't have anyone that was coming. So I thought I'm not going to rock up to a hole and just dance by myself. That would be hilarious, but yeah, no. Um, yeah. All right. So let's go and, um, we'll see where we end up. Excuse me. Uh, so we are home. I've used all my energy for the day on that one short trip. So we have our groceries. We'll take them inside quick because there's some frozen stuff. Uh, we're $2 richer as well because someone left $2 in the Audi trolley. So um, thank you. <laughs> I will put that in my little savings container and I'll probably have a whole $4 by the end of the year. I should have $5 because I found a dollar the other week and then I found two dollars five dollars savings challenge <laughs> oh my gosh funny not funny um yeah and then hands up who forgot their husband's loaf of multigrain bread I didn't even go for it what half prompted me to go as well as all the other things <gasps> is my daughter said, oh, we don't have any white bread. And I said, oh, okay. And then just as I was about to leave, I said, yeah, we do. And she didn't see it underneath um, some of the junk mail that got dropped on the bench. So I showed her that. She's like, oh, okay, cool. Now, the multigrain bread is still fresh and there's still pieces in there for hubby's lunch, but it just would have been easy if I picked it up today, now. Oh, well. Uh, but I will write a list because I am starting... <laughs> <laughs> to need lists to get through things so yeah i'm going to write it on the list because i want to start strategically planning some things out and making sure i'm on track with things that's that'll be good um oh i forgot to tell you guys we've had such a long weekend so saturday i ran around like a crazy person doing some shops uh looking for some markdowns and also doing some job hunting shops um yeah uh because my son wanted to go to two or three of the stores that were inside the complexes anyway so we were driving to all those places to start with so i might as well earn something while i'm out and about so that was saturday because he didn't have a gaming group so that went really well and we got the markdowns happy about that but my daughter got up and went to the doctors because they bulk bill if you sit and wait for the next available appointment um because there's a few things that she wanted to get checked out and look she sleeps all weird hours it's an adhd thing we don't have the best sleep patterns i think as a mum, i just get up because that's what you're instinctively trained to do but because she doesn't have anywhere to be um you know she stays up late and then <clears throat> she sleeps later it's what it is except when she has to be somewhere or do something she's she's on it so saturday pretty proud of her she decided to get up and go to the gp we don't have a regular gp we just go to like a bulk bill not a sort of bulk bill clinic um and it's like take a number and wait and she said oh, i didn't want to make an appointment because it's 50 dollars to pay if you make an appointment to see a doctor oh my gosh and i said i would have done that if you wanted a set appointment 
and you didn't want to sit around and wait for hours but she got up and she was over there by like 9 30 she got seen pretty much straight away which absolute blessing so that was good she's been having a lot of issues with her wrist lately um so sh they gave her an x-ray for that that was free <laughs> <laughs> but she had to wait till 12 because the imaging doesn't open till 12 so she had to sit there from like 10 to 12 just <laughs> waiting i know she did go for a bit of a walk and backwards and forwards but i felt so sorry for her because she's decided to actually go down the path of officially getting her um autistic diagnosis and adhd because she's just struggling with a few things. So she's decided that it's time to do that. I said, cool. So she went to the GP because somewhere, well, you need a referral for ADHD. For an adult autism diagnosis, you don't. You can just ring up a psych and, and make an appointment. But for ADHD, they tend to send you to a specialist because also... There's a 50% chance that most of them will expect that you want medication. So you need a psychiatrist who will, can prescribe medical stuff. So they tend to just send you in that direction. But the GP says to her for the autism, I would have no idea where to go or what to do. Maybe like you could Google something and if you need a letter like yeah I don't know or maybe just take this to the ADHD referral and ask them about it <laughs> could not believe it a GP basically had no idea and my daughter went to him can you not google autism a site assessment places or something and he's like I don't really know what that would entail <laughs> okay <laughs> right no worries um yeah so i was aware that she probably would be a little bit fragile after the appointment because also she went over there because i told you guys a few weeks ago she's having a few issues with some potential allergies with food well it just seems lately that food after food after food is triggering her with something and so we're thinking it's along the line of like citric acid mangoes things like that so she's got a referral to go and get that looked at and so her stress levels are through the roof i'm kind of now just sitting there going <sighs> and just about everything over the weekend that she ate or tried to eat you know, she looks at the packet and like, oh, I don't think I should eat that because it's got this or that in it. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm also now just sitting there going, <laughs> because it just eliminates so much food. Um, we already have that a lot with autism and sensory and texture needs. And now, you know, you're second guessing everything. Um, from even some of the cereal that she used to eat she ate it the other day and she said she felt really funny and I'm like oh my gosh so we're just starting to fastly eliminate a lot of foods and yeah it's just it's gonna be crazy so she's going to go and get that checked out because oh it's just so my mindset is going into that uh, prevention thing along the lines of a clean kitchen <laughs> stop laughing um, <laughs> and cross-contamination and trying to make sure we don't use the same plates or bowls if we do things um, so if we do like a salad then she can have a salad without a dressing or use something else compared with the dressing that we did have because she ate that and she didn't feel very well and so I'm like uh, so I'm just trying to be really careful with um, how I do prep and cook food and it's probably going to be going back to pretty basic stuff for a while so uh, it's nothing new for us in terms of that but there are some things that we had stockpiled so they're things that either other people in the house will just eat 
or we will just donate them to someone else because yeah it's not worth having food here that people can't eat or they'll take forever so that's also why I don't massively stockpile a whole lot of other stuff I just stockpile like the things that we use pretty much every single day if that makes any sense um all right we're gonna go inside because uh, we have frozen gear and I've chatted long enough uh and I need a coffee because I'm exhausted so we'll see you soon happy tuesday checking in just got home from zumba <laughs> my hair oh my gosh terrible um so tuesday morning because normally i'm home and doing chilling or emails or whatever it is and i was really really busy doing a whole lot of admin stuff but this morning we woke up to find out that someone's stolen my husband's push bike and i'm not going to go into details and damage and other bits and pieces but it's just beyond frustrating when that is the mode of transportation to get to work so we've had to deal with that this morning and we still have to follow up with a police report and figure out if it's worth claiming on insurance so then we can get a new bike because it's not just like a $200 Kmart bike um yeah because that bike takes him everywhere so we're just trying to balance it all out. Is it worth it for the excess on insurance to, to get that covered? Like, there's the things we're going to need to look at. So, so that's just... Mm. And then, yeah, I had a whole lot of admin and, and stuff like that. I'm trying to balance and budget stuff at the moment and figure out what's best here and there. Um... So then sometimes Tuesday afternoon can be a little bit crazy doing some things. I've had to come straight home. I need to get dinner organized because now <laughs> at 5.30, I'm doing like a little research group thing because they called me and said, um, you're on the short list and we've had someone pull out. Can you come? I'm like, sure. <laughs> and it's only... It's on my way to Zumba anyway. So they said that they would finish on time um, and then for me to leave and then to get where I need to go. So I said, okay, cool. So <laughs> it's money. It's side hustle September. We got to keep hustling. So now I've got to go inside and get most of dinner prepped. So then it just kind of has to be reheated and then that's it. I think we'll have rice and chicken so it's the easiest thing to get cooked. But also just to make sure that the bench is clean enough. Um, so I wasn't planning all that <laughs> this afternoon. But now we are because that's how things happen. So yes. Oh, and then, oh my gosh. <laughs> I have a whole system and routine. So when I get home from Zumba, um, right before I go to bed, I will plug in to charge my speaker and my iPad and da 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 on a Monday night, I usually go, oh, I won't do it because I'm home Tuesday mornings. I've got time. I forgot until like about quarter two time I leave. I went, so I'm charging there as I'm getting dressed. Then I luckily have a charger in the car. So I'm half charging that. I ran a whole Zumba class on about 27% on my iPad, which for an iPhone would be fine because it holds. My iPad, you blink and like 100% can go down to about 30 in like less than half the class. So it's super old. What can I say? I got it in 26, 2006. Um, it's old. But it's still working. It's smashed to buggery, but it's still working. So we also need to go inside now and charge that. <laughs> so it's ready for glass tonight. Because sometimes if you're charging it where you're trying to use it, it starts just having a mind of its own. It starts jumping from track to track. So we start 
and after about 30 seconds it just goes to the next song and we're like yep which would be fine if it was like mid-class and we were like just have a dance party and go with it but when you try to do your warm-up session and it's basically going <laughs> it's no good it's no good all right let's go and do all the things and i'll see you when i see you Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. Oh, I've had a long day already. It is four o'clock. So I got up and I taught Zumba this morning. And then it took me about half an hour to get home because I was just on the go slows. Went to Woolworths to see if there's any markdowns. Um, and also picked up a couple of things. <laughs> because it's wednesday it's the new catalog day so i'll put that in grocery haul for you guys for you to be able to see that and then came home for a quick coffee check a couple of emails and then get on with my day well like an hour later i'm still sitting there at my computer because i'm just in that wind down mode of executive dysfunction i'm so dysfunctional that i can't even get that organized um, I went to the police station and they gave me a victims of crime booklet. So we, um, yeah, put the report in Hubby's bike. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh. The guy's like, did you give permission for anyone to take it? I said, why? <laughs> why would someone give someone permission to steal something he goes not steal take did you tell someone they could like come and lend it have a lend i said no he's like okay i said why would anyone go feel free to come and steal said thing he goes no not steal free to take or lend or borrow and not return i'm like what he says well we have cars disappear all the time and then we find out that the guy was a tow truck driver and he was told the car will be in the driveway so he just rocked up and took it but that, that was the wrong car or the neighbors borrowed the other neighbor's lawnmower and then didn't return it and then it got stolen from the neighbor's house <laughs> i'm like oh okay Right, okay, and then in here is a do's and don'ts for how to provide support for victims of crime. And I swear that some people need to read this about how to speak to other humans. Nothing to do about crimes. Like, do spend time with them and listen and tell them that you're sorry. Don't say things like, you're lucky it didn't get any worse and well, hope you've learnt your lesson. And be patient. People will recover in their own time. Don't tell people you need to get over it or move on or how about we focus on something else. People say that to people all the time. Like, lucky it wasn't any worse. And, well, you've learnt your lesson, haven't you? Like, I didn't need that lesson. Thank you very much. So, perhaps people should be sent this book with how to speak to people <laughs> to be nice. Because people drive me insane. Right, then I went to Chemist Warehouse because I needed to get some new hair mousse. My mum got me onto this one. It's awesome. Actually, I bought this one as a clearance item ages ago. And then my mum buys this all the time. And then I forgot that I'd used it. But then I did use it. And then I remembered I loved it. I think though I've bought the smaller one. It's only 150 mils. But I went to Woolworths to go and get it to price check it and it was um ten dollars i think but i think it was for a bigger one i don't know anyway this was only five dollars at chemist warehouse so i got the only two on the shelf so either way i'm happy with that price um oh, oh my god I've got the odds again and then i just got two of the mananuk manuka honey in the goat conditioner because there was no shampoos and i can't remember if she goes through conditioners faster or shampoos so i just bought 
Again, the only two on the shelf. We'll add them to our collection. The Manuka honey one is the only one that doesn't kind of go off. We got an oatmeal one and it, it just separated after a while. So stay with that one. Then I went to Audi um, to buy some more of the Triangle Tempters. These are the children's favourites. And then I got these mini donuts because I've been seeing them everywhere. And I figured we deserved a treat for the week that we've been having. Just something nice. It's not even a cold day. But Wednesday night. Oh, excuse me. Being Wednesday night, I can... Um, have the time to cook them as well as some other things so yeah right so much on i feel like i'm still processing i've got all this stuff to do today even though i've kind of done everything it's just crazy all right we're gonna go um inside and we'll see where we end up everyone happy a saturday sorry it's been a couple of days since check-in but it has been a crazy <laughs> couple of days thursday friday all the usual zumba and bingo and food shopping and this that and the other and we've just had all this stuff going on backwards and forwards and my drink bottle's making noise at me <laughs> um yeah so it's been crazy busy so Apologies as well if there's been gaps with a posting. Just physically, I'm starting to hit the wall a little bit because we have so much going on. Um, we've had my son's NDIS reviews. So now we're sitting waiting on that. And then my daughter's having a few allergy issues at the moment. So she went to the GP last week to get all those referrals. And it has been a week trying to figure out how to find an appointment because she has one for February next year but the clinic <laughs> they only open Monday 9 till 5 and then Tuesdays 9 till 12 Wednesdays 12 till 5 Thursdays 9 till 12 Fridays 12 till 5 so Every day she was like, what day is it? Where am I? The first time that she called, the answer machine. Now, this is the 12th of September on Monday, right? Or about that. The answer machine goes, hi, we are currently away from the clinic from the 4th of September until the 8th of September. So feel free to leave a message and we'll call you back. <laughs> so it's the 12th, but the answer machine's still on. And I said to my daughter, they're probably busy in the clinic and they can't answer the phone, so it's the easiest thing to put there. But she says, why not just say, we're currently unable to take your call as the clinic's busy. I said, just because logically that's what they probably should do doesn't mean they will do it, but yeah. And then I said, did you leave a message? She said, no, because I don't want to leave a message and then be waiting for them to call me back and then I miss the call and then I have to call them back and then I get the machine again and... I said, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, so I get it. And then she's getting a referral to get an official ADHD diagnosis. The autism thing, we're going to where my son went. We're on the wait list. Gosh, yeah. Anyway, I she rang up the place and she, the hold is going through. And I think they said, they're not available that day or something. I don't know. Anyway, the auto call thing goes, we're currently taking patients for eating disorders, blah, 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 uh, ADHD, treatment and support, da, da, da. We are currently not taking any new diagnostic clients for ADHD or those needing an assessment. 
<laughs> so, um, mm -hmm. and then only yesterday did she finally get through to the allergy clinic to make the appointment. So up till the day before, <laughs> oh, there was nothing. So we were just sitting there going, <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah. And then she's been having a lot of issues with her wrist lately. And um, I'm not sure if I said, but when she went to the GP, he sent her for an ultrasound and an x-ray. When she went to the x-ray place, the x-ray lady's like, oh, you have two things. She goes, yeah, I don't know. I just got sent here. And the woman looks at the, goes, oh, I know the doctor. Yeah. All right. Let's just do an x-ray because I think that's all there was. But apparently the doctor said to her, everyone has aches and pains. So unless there's something specific that you can tell me about it. And she doesn't do well with authoritative. So she just shut down mentally. And the guy was like, she was like, I'm done. <laughs> she said, I just, I couldn't say anything to him because the way he spoke to me, I thought, I feel like I was being told off. So she was just sitting there going, it hurts. <laughs> But I do see so much on TikTok lately that it's like, hi, hi, welcome. They do reenactments. Oh, what seems to be the pain uh, problem? Oh, you're having um, a lot of period pain. Uh, well, that happens. Oh, um, you did a this and that and the other. Yeah, that's normal. Like, apparently people are just saying that so they're getting dismissed so quickly by GPs for general bits and pieces. I don't know whether they don't have time to do appointments or they need to pump out so many people, but yeah, it just seems that people are like, yeah, whatever. Like they don't feel listened to at the moment. So yeah, it's so frustrating. Um, and then physically I'm just struggling a little bit because, um, time of the month again, but it's, it's really heavy. So I'm just, it's draining. <laughs> Luckily I have no pain. It aches a little bit, but it's just, it's not painful, but just having to get changed constantly. Um, this last week I've been at the shops and gone, uh oh, and had to run to the toilet or I've just had to turn around and come home and I've had to change nearly my entire outfit because yeah. So I'm on the downward slope, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're home. I think we're going to go see where we get up to today and what goes on. I have a lot of stuff I want to do. <laughs> what happens is two different stories. Let's go. Let's go.